G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review. This time, of course, with my figure backtracking, finding Solo, Last Jedi, anything I can get my hands on, really. That's what I've missed out. And here we are. L337, cool, excellent. Six inch black series, nice. Number 73 on the box. Nice Titus work, I like it. He hasn't failed yet, has he? No, very good. All right, have a quick look at the back. There we go. Now, I will read this one out, and I will explain what I think. I reckon it's just, it explains it fully. A self-made droid built from astromech and protocol parts, L337, is an enlightened navigator who cares deeply about droids' rights. Now... Everyone keeps carrying on about this character as, oh, there's a hidden agenda, a hidden agenda, my ass, about feminism, social, social justice warriors, and, of course, uh, Lando throwing one into her. I'm like, <laughs> that's absolute, absolute bullshit. Lando probably tinkered with her a little bit, but I don't, I guarantee you, nice... Handsome young man that Lando Calrissian is have time for that sort of stuff with a robot, the droid. Anyway, self-made. Other droids like uh, Forlom was self-made. He made himself into be a complete bounty hunter, evil bastard, didn't he? And also, yes, there have been other female droids in or female program droids, and in this case, she did herself. Uh, TC-14 that I can think of from Phantom Menace and EV-99 from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, she was, I reckon she was a heartless bitch program, that one. But anyways, oh, that's enough of my rant. Just think of it as a, a droid who freed a ton of droids from Kessel. And she did. Call it a she, because we always call 3PO a he, R2 a he. But the way she acts is a she in the program. Anyways, enough of my rant about that. What do you think about this? I dig this figure. It's cool. Yeah. You can even see the way the droid would walk. Yeah, it walks like a lady. Hips, arms out. Now I knew... You don't have to worry about rocker ankles. This is even worse. Tiny little pegs that they do move, but I still I still needed blue tack to figure that out. And this leg, the green leg here, to her left, likes to ping back in the straight. So we'll topple over. But it's got some great detail. I really, really like the figure. And of course, she becomes the navigational heart of the Millennium Falcon. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Solo, a Star Wars story. I don't want to move her much, but yeah. Um, head moves a little bit, neck moves up and down. <coughs> like forward, sort of back, not so much. Uh, the elbows are restricted by these wires all the other colorful wires there look pretty cool good contrast really dug the way this character was portrayed and of course you hear 3po say you know this when um she was melded into the millennium falcon and 3po realized well, when he finally tried to talk to the millennium falcon that ah that the Falcon had a peculiar dialect, probably because she was such a sassy, very entertaining, very forwarded type droid. I dig it. It's a cool figure to get. Pretty cheap for me. Here again in Australia. Came a couple of days once posted. All right, yeah, some more. Figure backtracking. Hopefully get some more solo stuff. 
Rio Durant, Solo and Mimban. Hope to pick those guys up pretty soon. All right. I'll leave this one up for you. You guys can... Hopefully you guys, uh, if you guys collect it, that's cool. If not, anyways, back to collecting and hopefully seeing some pretty cool celebration stuff coming up next. Not from me, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna watch other people's videos. Have a break for a while. I'll explain later. All right. Sci-fi out. And the force is with you, always.